We are going to need a few tools if we're gonna pull this off. First is the trim removal kit. Second is T25, T30, and T45 Torx bits. I also used a socket with a bit adapter and a cordless drill. And then I used a flathead screwdriver and last but not least, needle nose pliers. First things first, if we wanna get at the headliner, the B-pillar trim pieces need to come off. There are three screwed connection points. Let's cover them bottom to top. The lower D-ring is removed with the T45 Torx bit, but I'll let you in on a little secret. The largest size I had was a T40 and it worked no problem. Next up in the middle is the seat belt bolt. This is removed with a 17 millimeter socket. There is not much head height on this sucker, so with each crank, make sure your tool is fully seated. We started at the bottom, now we have. You'll find the last one hanging out behind the coat hook. This one is removed with a T25 Torx bit. Once those bolts are removed, start at the top with quick short pulls to pop out the clips. The last clip is about halfway down. Once that sucker is free, you can lift the B-pillar up and out off the two bottom pokes. Then simply snake the safety seat belt, sliding it softly through the slot. On the side with the slider door, you'll need to remove two additional bolts that attach this handle. Take a trim removal tool and slide it in a small recess that's visible near the bottom of the seam. Pry the cover out enough that you can grab it and pop it off and remove the bolts with a T30 Torx bit. Here's a better shot pulling up and off the plastic hooks. Our van has a power slider door, so that connection to the button needs to be removed too. The sun visors are held in place by four bolts and they are all removed with a T30 Torx bit. The two on the sides come out fairly easy, but the vertical ones underneath have Loctite so they take a bit to break free. In fact, halfway through I switch to a socket to better feel this and I find I have more control with the setup when compared to the drill. Once the bolts are removed, rotate the sun visor down and pull it out. When you're working on projects like this, the number of fasteners coming off the van can be a little overwhelming. Put hardware for each operation in its own marked bag to make your life easier in the future. For the A-pillar covers, there is one T30 Torx mechanical connection point that is under this little airbag indicator cover. Remove it from the top side with a trim removal tool to access the screw. From there, work your hands behind the edge at the top and give it a few quick short yanks to release the clips. It pulls up and out from the bottom. Chances are this metal clip will stay behind. You can pull this out with a set of needle nose pliers and reinstall it into the corresponding slot on the back of the trim piece. There's one clever hidden trick those German engineers decided to throw in to keep us Americans scratching our heads. The curtain airbag covers are held in place by this ingenious hook mechanism which you can release with some fancy pry work. Let's take a closer look at what's going on behind the curtain. Trim pieces. They are held in place by these hooks that temporarily hold them until the sun visor screws are attached, sandwiching everything together. By inserting a flathead screwdriver into the first hole, you can pry back and push up to drop the hook off the support member. This was by far the worst part. It was an actual pain in the closed cell extruded polystyrene. The cosmetic foam pieces are held in place with VHB tape, which literally stands for very high bonding tape. It's amazing for holding stuff on, but terrible for taking it off. One thing that can help here is doing this after the van has been sitting in the hot sun for a few hours. I found that the trim removal tool was also helpful here, getting up underneath the foam and prying it. I didn't want to ruin these pieces just in case I need them, so I went pretty slow. Now that everything's out of the way, the headliner can finally come off. Well, almost. You still have to remove these clips, of which there's a 99.99999% chance that you're going to break at least one of them. It's important that you don't just pull them out because you can actually damage the headliner here. Use a trim removal tool and try to pull them out or at least break them off at the head. 
Once you've taken care of the clips, slide the headliner up and out of the curtain airbag covers on each side. Warning, this can be a little fussy with a headliner on your head, and then slowly pull the whole thing down, rotating it away from the ceiling. There will be a couple electrical connections that you need to remove, and voila! Let's take a closer look at our electrical connections. There were two connectors we had to disconnect. The first one was a blue one that was hiding under this anti-rattle foam, and then the white connector plugged directly in here that was removed with the push of a little tab. Well, my friends, that is it and that is all. We're actually gonna be upholstering this headliner before we put it back in, so you'll wanna stay tuned for that. If you have any questions or you like these short instructional videos, we would love to hear from you in the comments section below. And as always, on your way down there, don't forget to slap that subscribe button. We will see you next time.